I'm uh, one of the developers of the city of Zion. Um, I'm working with the uh, Neo GUI wallet in WPF. I expect that one day this uh, wallet could be a little bit more than just WPF. And uh, today it's uh, 5 of February and I'm just making a small um, walkthrough to create a smart contract using Neo. Uh, since last week, there was a lot of people on Discord channels asking how to do it because there were some errors. And I work on the weekend about that. I tried to find a way to uh, a work around on this. And there was a, a guy, uh, this guy called Div on the Discord channel that I was um, uh, uh, talking to. And he has he had a lot of issues and he found se several ways of doing it. I found another way to do it. And I'm just going to create a small video for um, to, for everyone to understand all the workarounds that need to be done. I believe that for the future, this should be a, a solution, end-to-end uh, uh, -end solution, not with all these workarounds, but uh, probably some of you guys are going to have to go for these uh, workarounds until we have it, everything working. Okay, first thing. Uh, you should go to this page. I'm going to put all the links on the on the on the description. Then you don't need to to copy this now. Uh, this is the how to write a C sharp uh, code uh, smart contract, um, and you just have to go through this. This using Visual Studio 2017. You're going to start need to install this plugin. I'm going to uh, show you after how the the, the code look like. Uh, I'm not going to make any code here. We're just the installation and create the AVM uh, file and load to uh, a GUI to the Neo GUI. And you can see here, and it goes, uh, you should open, uh, create a smart contract uh, project, and then it goes here on the publishing. And I'm just going to do, I'm not going to download everything. I already did that. I'm just having here um, uh, an example of the smart contract. I have it here. I created this uh, project, class one library. And if I compile, this is a, a, a simple project. If I just compile it, uh, you're going to create um uh gonna create here we're gonna create this uh, class one library dll this we're gonna need, this is the smart contract you're gonna need to use it um to run uh, another program called uh, neon uh the one of the neo compiling compile to trans transpile this from uh, dll to avm avm is uh uh, Anchas virtual machines, that's what it means, because it's a uh, Neo before it was called uh, Anchas, and the AVM just call it Anchas um, virtual machine. Okay, and to, to compile this, we, if we go again to the, to the, to the, um, to the application, we should just com uh, right click, uh, we use this Neo compiler, we should publish this guy, and then we should use this, this guy. The problem is, and I have it here, the Neo compiler, I have here the Neon. If I go here and I just say publish it, I compile it and publishing. Uh, now I just put the, the same settings that were here before. This was in, uh, in release and save and publishing. Uh, usually you're going to have here an error. Uh, say I don't have it, uh, I probably even now going to work. Uh, it's going to now it's probably going to work because I already run the comment and the comment somehow uh, was overriding all the .NET and now it, oh, it's here. Yeah. If we run in the release, you're going to have this kind of error. This is the settings that you used to have. And if you run in the in the release, you're always going to have this kind of error. And if you go to the to the folders where this, this guy should, should have, where it is, it's supposed to be here. Our, where is the folder? Sorry, it's taking, it is sorry for the delay because uh, I'm recording on the same machine and it's, uh, sometimes you have a little bit of now rendering problems. And if you go here to the release, you're going to have the Netcore app 2.0. And if you go inside, you're not going to have the, the publishing, but you're just going to have, ah, you got the publishing. Even you got the error, you got the publishing. Sometimes you're not you get the error. Oh, now we got everything. I'm just going to, to delete everything and then go it again. You just have to try. This is a very, very, very try and error situation. Uh, I'm just going to show you a way to do it that works all the time. Let's just delete this. Let's do it again. 
Okay, here it is. I'm just going to publishing. I just publish it here from here. Here's just a second. And if I publish it, probably now it's just going to work. <laughs> publishing starts. Publish starts. Publish fail. As you can see, it's going to fail. It's going to give you the, 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 the error. Click OK. Now we go again to the folder. And what the folder is going to tell us that we have a release. And if you go inside the release, Netcore App 2.0, and inside, well, looks like that now it's working uh, even with the error. But it was not. And uh, many of you uh, experienced this kind of situation. Uh, to to one way one way to resolve this, I I created the neo compiler project where I will start to copy everything because somehow I even cannot um, debug this project. I have here on the pro program CS, I have a, a breakpoint. And if I run this directly from here, it's never going to hit this breakpoint. And I'm gonna you're gonna tell me that something related to .NET just failed. And if I run this, you're gonna say that everything compiles succeeds. And if we go here to the, it's going just to open and close it. And if you go to the here to the output window, where is the output? Window? Come on, man. You already close it. If you go here now to the output window, it's gonna tell us that .NET not exe um, exited with the code something something that it could not uh, run uh, and this is very annoying and then I create another a small another, another application just to be able to try to see to compile and to run in debug it was working and it's working I can run and compile from there but this one I cannot and I don't know why I don't know why another way to do it this and this could be the, the way that works always and with no message, no error message. And I'm going just to delete again that folder on release. Uh, come on, fix. No compiler. Now, if I just open here a console window on the on here, let's clear everything. I am on the Neon project, and I just need to run the comment .NET publish minus C and debug minus R uh, with uh, the uh, your machine settings. If you run this, it's going to always, but always. Uh, compile okay this will always create the publishing correctly this solution was provided by this guy that I was talking in this called div it's the name that I have from him uh, hello <laughs> and this will um, compile and create the folder that we need to run the um, the, the neon the neon transpiler let's just wait a second I'm going to give a couple of uh, warnings. Okay, and now this is over. We can see now that we have a debug window on Bean, and inside we're going to have a net core app. Probably we can do this in release too if you want. And now we're going to have here the Windows 10 as uh, X64 um, publisher. And here inside we're going to have everything that we needed. Uh, that was supposed to be by the publishing from the the, the right click from the, the Visual Studio. Why this is not working? I have no idea. We're going to need to find this and try to 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 make this in a in a better and smooth way. But right now, this is uh, what I found to be the best way to do it. Because even in if you do it by the publishing, sometimes works, sometimes not. Probably this way works all the time. Thank you, Dave, for the the tip. And I think that uh, this is a good way to do it. Okay, after doing this, this is not the end because you have the DLL, and now you have this, um, this, uh, the, the transpiler. What we have to do here is uh, run this transpiler. And what I did was copy to a, to a temporary folder. I'm gonna put it here on the another part, uh, another part of the, my, my, my disk, where it is, let's just see. 
it's here. I have it here, the new compiler, I copy everything here, and now I just need to put it here, the class one library that I create. And what it is, the class one library, it's here that I create, and I just have to copy this class one library to this place. This is this is the final, the, the, the very best way to do it. Of course, you can put this on path, you can try to do all these things, but uh, just so you to understand all the process, I just put it here. This will be the class one library, and then I run uh, another in another in another uh, console window. Uh, just to be easy, I'm gonna write uh, open the console window directly from this 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 folder. Just so you to see that I'm opening the right the, this one really and then i just have to run here if i run neon it's just going to say that need the the parameter and if i run again neon with the class library one what is going to give me it's going to give me an error it's going to give me an error it was what i expected uh it gave me an error and this error is because he's missing here this neo dot smart content framework services because uh, the the project that uh, that we have the the the, um, the dependencies he, he has this neo smart contract framework and it just need that you just find it on your disk and just copy to to the um, to the to the same place that you put the class library one i have it here I already copied here to to be in a in an easy place. And now it, oh no, let's put it in the wrong place. Let's go back here. One here. And I gotta copy here, paste. It's taking taking a while now let's run again the same comment neo class one library and now yes he's going to create the abm uh, the and shares uh, views ball machine and going to run going to create everything that is necessary if you go now to see the, the folder here is our abm this is what we need to load into the gui uh the smart contract okay after this uh i hope that uh, there will be other ways to do it uh this is the way that i'm just going to show you i have it here uh, the one of the the neo gui uh prepared this is not the one that i'm working with uh this is just the one that in production just for, uh, for everyone to to see and understand the new one uh, we are working on this and you just have to come here deploy contract give a name xxx like for example or uh, video 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 contract version 1.0 out of me Paulo uh, Pinto. Uh, let's put it my my the email we paint at ct of zion dot io description just an example to load, load a smart contract in C sharp, C sharp. Uh, that let's just load the file that we we create. Come on, saving recording on the same machine takes a lot of time. Uh, let's go into my trash. Will be the neo compiler. Win 1064. Here is our AVM open. And it's going to put here some nice thing. Here we have it. Everything. Let's copy. I don't know why he's doing this. That he's putting here the 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 the, the ash script ash of the contract being in this position. I don't know why. But just let's copy. Let's just copy this guy. Let's just put it here in one. Uh, let's put it here just to just in case. Uh, it ends with uh, D, D, eight C. Yes, everything looks okay, and we're just going to deploy this guy. Test. Gonna cost me. Invoke. 
and looks like that is everything and invoked and created the contract if now i'm going to see on the, the transaction history let's just wait i'm using here the the test net for metacrease um and uh, it's nice everything is in on my machine uh, now it's already have a confirmation now we can go here and um, import uh, no not called create contract custom uh not not let's let's see this in a different way let's go here to invoke contract let's see if i find everything put here the hash script here is the video contract that i created it's already on the blockchain now i could test it invoke it and now it's not doing anything special uh, still having even having problems test again is it good to measure the fault state I don't know what is what what is doing here. Uh, execution of a smart contract. I'm gonna make another video for that. Probably I'm gonna fix what is happening here. But I already have other other the other other contracts that I edit here. For example, if you go to see this contract that I have it here, view contract. If I go to this script dash, this will be the 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 one that we the, the same one another copy of the same one and i can use the hello world it was the first corner now it's not working i don't know why okay as you can see uh this 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 is a way to create the avm and to load the avm to the to the to the to the blockchain i'm using the 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 private network you don't need to spam anyone asking for gas because this this guy has, has a lot of gas i'm always always uh, collecting gas every day it's a lot because we have it here um 100 million or 10 million of gas of meal what generates tons of gas we almost don't need it anymore we just need to use this guy and in another videos i'm going to explain try to explain as long as soon as i learn how to do it how to um, the, uh, write what we should write on the smart contract what kind of things you can write there um how do we invoke these how can we deposit things on smart contract i'll create tokens i'm going to try to create videos uh, related with this topic these topics and i hope that this one will be the start of everything where you can really create the avm a file the ensures virtual machine um a file and load into the the new blockchain i hope that this is this is okay for you uh, leave any comment that you if you need it uh, contact me on the discord i'm always there uh, just contact me i'm a win pinto and uh, i hope that uh, everything and they could, could start to develop smart contracts in C-Sharp. Goodbye, guys, and uh, have a nice trade.